Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. Um, it's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And um, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give good vibes and it uplifts you in a way, you know, please share. You know, I may be doing the same for other people as well or even better. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, the, the content title is called Don't Get in the Habit of Collecting Red Flags. You only need one to move on. I, I forgot. I don't know if I posted that yet or it was something that Steve Harvey said. And I mean, man, when I said that hit deep, it's, it's true. You know, we get a habit of seeing things, you know, with us being empaths, we... we it's like our kindness can really get us in trouble. Our, our soft heart can really get us in trouble at times because there'll be people, I don't know how, you know, especially when they can sniff us out at times, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with uh, different people um, that, that is going on. I know I shared yesterday on my IG, it was uh, something special about Kay, I think that's her name, on IG, and I said I wanted to share it here, but I, it gets on my nerves when I, when I go share something that don't go the whole you know whole minute it'll cut off right after that but as I, I wanted to go ahead and say that you, you know it's just like when you have that really good energy you know you've been through things you grow through things and um different things like that a lot of times people can sense that and you know and then sometimes they'll they'll start mirroring uh mirroring your 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 character mirroring your you know your attributes that you carry and it's just like dag you know that can be that you know that that one you know it could be a friend it can be you know a potential it could be a soulmate you never know but it's just like you had to go through that and it's just like why did they stay so that it's just like you have to understand there's a lot of people that instead of them going through things like we go through things because sometimes we can do it too it's not all about narcissism uh sociopath sadists you know, masochists, you know, uh, psychopaths, all that, you know, because there's a lot of times we can go backwards. You know, there'll be times that we can be that person is just like, you know, projecting all kind of fears and, you know, negativity on people. It could be subconscious. It could be unsubconscious, you know, but there's a lot of times that we can go through life on knowing people and it'll be that. They'll, they'll be showing red flags right at the beginning. They always say you can you know so much about a person through an hour of talking to them, their first conversation with talking to them, and they'll tell you so much about yourself without you even really asking, you know. And it, it, it's just like you know, people are like so. How do you do that? I said oh, I don't give away stuff like that because you ain't, you ain't gonna try to come up in my life and try to swindle something, <laughs> you know. So I said I, it's just all about how you talk to them and you'll fill it out. You know, if you've gone through it enough, you should be able to, you know, uh, figure stuff out like that. You know, and it is just the fact that at times it's so hard for me to even allow people to get real close to me because I've seen how trife people can be. I've seen how evil people can be, you know, especially if they got motives like that. Because some people will come in your life and act like they're your best friend and be ready to just try to see when you'll be able to turn it back on. You know, it ain't even, it ain't funny. But a lot of times we... We can um, be in connection with people and we'll give an excuse. Oh, you know, they maybe have had, you know, uh, you know, a bad day today or they may have gotten to an argument with somebody or they just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and not realize it can go on for months. It can go on for years and you'll notice the things that ooh, I got chills when I said I didn't get through the whole daggone sentence yet. You go through chills. And it, it will be that person you had left them for for the same thing they were doing to you from the beginning and not knowing that. And it's just like, you know, they tell you don't don't get a habit of collecting those red flags. You know, don't stay around people that devalue you. Don't, talk, you know, stay in connections with people that, you know, it is all about what kind of benefits they can have for you. You know, I, you have to deal with that a lot, you know, dealing with people that are just in that for that beneficial you know, situation made me think about that song, Pills and Potions, again. You know, people will love you and trust you when it's beneficial. You, you got to forgive and, for, you know, I don't talk about forgive and forget because I, I don't want to forget that. 
You know, I don't want to forget that because it's just like you can forgive a person and not have to let them back in your life, but you remember what they taught you. You know, you don't have to carry that grudge around. You know, you got to work on that every day because there will be some time people will cut you deep and it'll make you just look at folks in a totally different way. You know, it's just like a lot of different things. I've been doing a lot of research and stuff I've been really drawn to lately. I'm like, damn, you know, folks can really be out there, you know, really be out there. And, and it's just like, I don't know about y'all, but I know a lot. There's a few people that I know that I love watching, um, like, different stuff that has something to do with uh, crime. Like, I love watching um, Bailey Syrian, um, uh, Kendall Ray. Uh, Eleanor Neal, uh, who else is that? Uh, Christina Randall, Mike from that chapter, you know, and just being able to see how, how minds can process doing stuff like that, you know, um, how people can be in that way. And just sometimes you can see them as like they're checked out, you know, you really checked out, you know, you don't know. I, I was watching one yesterday it just really made my skin crawl and i was just like hell no nah. you know i can see this dude sitting up here stabbing the clock and like what are you doing killing time you know i ain't been gonna be able to do that his name is jaime asuna you know and i was just like damn mm -mm. you know just just really seeing you know and, it, and it's just like i started getting flashes in his life and it, it just really brought my heart because i can tell he be, really been through a lot of stuff to where it's at that point where your actions you can go through stuff like i said before and we also know that it is the stuff that you have gone through in your upbringing can really take you in a bad light put you in a bad way or it can really put you it, it can bring off something very beautiful or it can bring off something very ugly you know very dark you know um and it, it's the choice that other matter of that you know i can see people that have gone you know through gang relating you know situations in turn you know, and then turn a, a whole new, you know, a whole new leaf and allow their, their mind to, you know, just say, this, I can't go through this. I can't go through that. But it, it's just like red flags. You see different things that come on. You know, you go through different things. You could be in toxic, you know, relationships. You know, and a lot of times we feel like I didn't love them enough or I didn't do this enough. And you have to understand when people are like that, don't feel like because they left you. They going with somebody else and they loving that person. They're gonna get through the same treatment as they put you in. You know, it's just like when you start exposing people's habits, you start exposing people's games. They have to get somebody else because they, they can't manipulate you anymore. You see through what they're doing to you, and you had to go through that. You learn through that. You know, and I see things like that, and it's just like a lot of stuff right now is becoming uncovered to where you know they switch people off real quick because they can't run those games anymore too many things is getting revealed right now to where you're starting to see through the bs you're starting to see through the lies you're starting to see through the deceptions because a lot of times i see stuff and i just like oh jesus let me, let me go ahead and pray you know because it can get very scary out there they're, they're telling you don't don't get in the habit of collecting you know red flags when you start becoming your own red flag you don't want to be that way you know, there'll be times where, you know, I, I can see where um, I'm at my age. I said, shoot, two more months when <laughs> I'll be 45. And I'm just like, uh-uh. <laughs> you know, I, I don't got time to be playing little, little kids games. I said, I've been out of school for a long time to let you know I ain't got time to be playing on nobody's playground. I don't got time for those kid games, you know. And, you know, some people are just, you know, that's the way they like to play, you know. And, and it's just like you play crazy games you get crazy you know crazy prizes you get play stupid games you get stupid prizes you know but these are those times that you know when you start seeing things that's not matching up with that vibration that you where you lose and sleep off of where you gotta you all up in your mind like is you know what am i doing for this person to act like that you have to understand that was their character the whole time a lot of times you can't see it off right away it be certain things but it's just the fact is I, I i guess i've dealt with so much narcissistic energy as well as in my own there'll be people that talk to me and all of a sudden i'll start stumbling on my words and i'm not the type of person i do that you know only time i've been like that shoot if i got a gun to my head or if i'm about to go go to jail <clears throat> other stuff like that i don't get nervous like that but it's something about their energy that makes me stumble on my words or make me just like it'll catch me off guard and i don't say nothing it's just like your energy is is, is that silent alarm go with your gut go with your intuitive 
You know, regardless of what somebody try to convince you of, that they're not doing that, your gut is telling you don't listen to that. You know, allow yourself to move, move expeditiously. Like, you know, Joe, oh, what was his name? Joe Clark, <laughs> lean on me. You move expeditiously. You know, you allow yourself to just, you know, learn from those, those things into your life. You know, I've seen, you know, what I've normalized in my life as being normal, and it's not normal. I had to allow myself to say, oh, this is not normal, y'all. Y'all family don't do that. <laughs> you know, you, just, you know, different stuff like that. And they're like, girl, no. What would you think? That, you know, but because I was, that's all I was used to, you know. And then I just grew up doing the same thing, attracting the same kind of vibration until I said, you know what, I deserve better. I love myself more. You know, I had to get out of the habit of rather than, you know, I make myself uncomfortable to give somebody else happiness. No. Nah. That should be a give and take situation. It should be reciprocated. Nobody that loves you is not going to challenge you in a way that's making you feel bad about you. You know, if it's something that they see that is a bad habit and they're trying to get you out of that, that's supporting you. Just say, you know, I can see you you doing better, you know, because there'll be different times where, you know, I may be in my feelings about something and I want to go smoke a cigarette and I'll be hearing my, my grandmother or my father or my mom tell me, it's like, why you do that, you know? You, you went without cigarettes for a long time, and I'll be like, look, you know, I'm in my head about some stuff right now. I'm really trying to figure it out. I know I need to find better habits on how to, you know, deal with my stress, which you do. But it's just the fact is when somebody is, is you know, telling you this is not good for your health, this is not, you know, stressing is not good for your health. You know, you're going through stuff that is really going, it's, it's going to bring you into a better light. You know, you be with people that challenge you to be a better person. You be around people that want to see you shine, you know, not feeling like they're the only ones that can be happy, you know, not trying to demean you when you're trying to, you know, be a better person or you trying to be in a better light about yourself. You're being very constructive about making yourself a better person. You're building on your character of positivity. You know, you need people in your life like that, you know, be encouraging, you know, even if you're going through something, you need to talk to somebody and say, you know, it's just a bad moment. It ain't a bad life. It's just a bad moment moment you had to go through that this is you know things are becoming really challenging for you there'll be a lot of people that just ain't in that type of vibe they can't get your vibe and it's like they haven't hit the pinnacles that you hit there you know some people fear that and that's where they're trying to tell you you know hey those are not the type of people you want to be around you be around somebody who bring out the best in you not the stress in you that cares and nurtures your mental health want to care about your well-being you know they don't demean you they don't humiliate you you know all those different things and you know and it's just like when you've gone through that you, you know you become a bee a heavy bee with the itch on the back of it you know when you're allowing yourself to be assertive about what you're not going to tolerate what you're not going to continue to deal with you ain't going to allow nobody to disrespect you. You walk away. You know, you see somebody want to be combative and you're like, okay, I'm going to let you deal with that. You know, and it got to that point. I used to always want to be in that point where, you know, you want to you, you want to do that to me. I'm going to do it right back to you. If you want to be a tit, I'll be a whole tat. You know, and then add some extra weight to that. I'll throw shade in a minute. You know, and now I'm at that point like you ain't even worth my energy. You ain't worth my time. You're not even worth that moment. You know, I have to be able to go through this, but I appreciate you showing me what I don't want to have in my life. You know, I appreciate what you show me of what I can do better, you know. And a lot of times we have to do that while by being by ourselves. We have to be able to, you know, face our stuff. You know, a lot of people feel like they, they have to have a person in their life like that to make them complete. And you're complete by yourself. You know, even with your twin flames, even though they, they hold the half of your soul, you're still a complete person. That's just a blessing on, on a plus one. They keep on having pluses to it. You're a complete person. You're a complete entity. And these are the things that, you know, help you grow. They, they nourish you a lot of times. You know, they'll challenge you at times. Sometimes they'll be silent because they're going through their own things as well. You're, everybody's going through a healing process. There's a lot of people that are going within, you know, challenging themselves from their, their shortcomings. There are some people that just run from it, you know, self-medicate, you know, get into sex, you know, all those different things that they're, they're feeling to pull their energy from an exterior you know, a uh, vibration exterior, you know, um, vessel when you have to go from within. And, you know, that's a very scary thought. It leads to, you know, you self-destructing. You know, you, you're seeing that a lot. Right now we're going through self-destruction of change. 
you're not you're destructing the old part of you and that that mess can get very 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 uncomfortable and these are the things that you're doing but there's a lot of people that's running from it at the same time which is very scary too because you you know that can lead to nothing that's not going to be good for those people and you all you can do is just keep praying for them but you know just allow yourself to not sit up here and collect wet red flags you only need one to move on you know don't allow you to waste your energy and your time on something that can really just bring you down or tear you down a lot of times that comes into your life to show you what you don't need so hopefully this will you know be something that it, can, it can put you in a put you in your mind but i would love to give a post notification shout out to spiritual uh, self mastery much love to you blue river and baby stay much love to you and jl much love to you as well i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do like i say all the time you know i leave my contact information in the description box below as well as my um my uh link to my podcast as well um i do and if you feel comfortable, you know, or feel generous enough, you can go ahead and leave a donation if you feel like it. I leave my cash app is there as well. You know, there's a lot of people that connect with me on the side, you know, because they don't feel comfortable with speaking on different things here, which I truly understand. People text me or give me an email. And, you know, I try my best to be able to help out where I can. And, you know, I forgot. Oh, Julie, if you were watching this, I apologize. I did forget to email you back. You know, I just finished um, answering my comments. And if you watch this, I'm going to try my best to email you today and get that done um but yeah you know um you, you, we're going through a lot of different things right now changes that are very uncomfortable you know it can be very unbearable but trust and believe is taking you towards something bigger and better than you never imagined so whatever your manies are that you're manifesting into your life you know it's going to be so much bigger and better than you ever imagined and um more than you ever expect it and come sooner than you expect it so keep working you know even if you got to take a break for a while to just center yourself out you do that but don't stop you know don't stop don't give up on your dreams something that you know you can't think of can't go a day without thinking about or even an hour so uh even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things really takes me a long way much love to you peace